Could euthanized farm animals be ending up in pet food? Quite possibly. You need to watch this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Due to COVID-19, there's an increased number of farm animals being euthanized. Susan Thixton of The Truth About Pet Food recently published an article on this topic. Great website, awesome person. I encourage you to support her. Throughout North America, large meat packing plants in the United States, in Canada, and really throughout the world have been hard hit by COVID-19. Because of that, and they're, they're in some cases having to close, but there's this big system that goes on. You have you know, millions of chickens, broiler chickens, being ready to move into these packing facilities. No staff, you know, millions of pigs uh, within the same situation. And here are producers, I mean, they have these pigs, they can't get them to the packing plant, they can't get them to market. I mean, they're looking at, in some cases, having to euthanize thousands, if not millions of animals. First of all, that seems unethical, and that's probably a whole, another whole issue for an, another video. But then there's the very real question of what is happening with all of those millions of chickens, those millions of pigs that have been euthanized. Like, where are they gonna all end up? Some of you may think this is just internet-based fear, but in 2018, uh, Hurricane Florence affected the Carolinas. There were thousands and thousands of dead animals, euthanized, guess what? A bunch of those ended up within the pet food supply. The FDA openly allows animals that have died other than by slaughter to be processed and turned into pet food. And there is no obligation for the companies to put a warning, you know, informing consumers that it's possible that there is livestock that have died other than by slaughter, i.e. potentially be, have been euthanized. They can be in this food. So is this food that I'm feeding little Tula, you know, is it safe? I hope so, but I don't know. It doesn't say on there, warning. Uh, potentially there's an, a livestock animal that has died other than by slaughter. Potentially it's been euthanized, it's in that food. I don't know, I look at the label and it doesn't say anything about that. So what do you do? I mean, is this really a real concern? Like, do you need to be worried? Like, um, am I potentially putting little tool at risk by feeding her this kibble? I'll put an email link in the description box, one to the FDA, so you can let them know. They should be having all pet foods labeled Potentially this could include an animal that has died other than by slaughter. At least you can be aware of it. Uh, likewise too with the Canadian authorities. Clearly we need to have further you know, pet food regulation and much stronger standards. And at the very least, like, come on. Like, if an animal has died, has been euthanized, potentially it's in pet food, I think it's pretty reasonable that you, uh, as a pet parent, should know, right? I mean, I know I sure wanna know. I encourage you to email them. Like, this is a change that should be easily made. 